Hi, this is Dave O'Higgins here. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating some ideas for practicing a minor 251 based on the arpeggios. There is a link below to my website where you can download a PDF of these materials and also the iReal Pro track that I used to play along to. This is not a promotion for iReal Pro, but I do feel it's an excellent resource to be able to practice stuff at any tempo and in any key to suit you. Here's the first exercise. <laughs> I recommend you practice the first half, that is the first four bars, and the second four bars separately because they're really two different exercises, one in one direction and the other the opposite way up. I also recommend that you don't write out the exercise in any other keys and that you do that in your head. Changing the key and the register is something that's a very important part of working out how to figure stuff out as you go along that will help you in your efforts to improvise. In this exercise, things start to get a bit more interesting. I'm using a chromatic approach from below to each note of the core triad. So in E half diminished, I'm just approaching the notes of the E diminished chord, the E, the G and the B flat. And in A7, I'm just approaching the notes of an A major triad. And in D minor 6, just simply the notes of the D minor triad. When you play this exercise, again, do it as per the last one and treat it as two different four bar exercises. <laughs> The third exercise is diatonic notes from above each of the core triad notes. There is actually an exception, and I've put a note about this in the PDF, but on the D minor triad, the, uh, the note ab above the fifth of the chord, um, which you would expect to be the major sixths, actually sounds better as a minor sixths. Uh, when you play it, your ear is drawn towards that as an approach note. But you should try it both ways and decide for yourself which you prefer. All the same um, rules and suggestions about trying different keys and four bars at a time apply to this exercise too. <laughs> fourth exercise combines the chromatic approach from below and the diatonic from above. In actual fact, it's the other way around. The diatonic from above and the chromatic below, and um, it plays them as a triplet, where actually the resolved note is the third triplet. It's a bit more technically challenging, this one, and it's definitely something that you will have heard people play uh, phrases like this in their own improvised solos. <laughs> Finally, here's a demonstration of a musical application of these devices. I've created an eight bar line through this minor 251, uh, which is something like I would improvise, and it uses entirely these techniques. Hope you like it, and uh, if so, maybe um, this is also worth taking through the keys. You may find that you need to alter the register of some of the phrases in uh, some of the more exotic keys, 
in order to fit on your instrument. enjoyed this video and um, have some fun practicing. I'll see you soon.